All right, I got two sets of in-ears that I'm gonna try out, hear how they sound. One is budget, super budget. $10 right here for this thing. 10 bucks, cheapest I've ever seen. And then they are the KZ Dons. And then going head to head with the Simgo EW300s. If you know, I've really enjoyed the Sigmo, Sigmot, whatever you call it, stuff before. So I'm gonna put these head to head. These are like $10 and these are like $70. The reason I wanted to try these out is because, and, and head to head, is how much disparity is there between these two right here? Because, you know, sometimes we might want to give uh, some stocking stuffers to maybe our worship teams or just have some backup. Before our backups were like $20 each and so, then, you know, I think the the DQS's got down to like $15 and the Dons here are $10.99 on Amazon right now. But then the reason I wanted to put them head to head to the EW 300s is because of the price point. These being $70, in my experience, the cheapest all the way up until about $60 is usually when they all about sound the same to me. And then you start getting your money's worth somewhere in the 70 and above range when we're talking about budget. And if you're like, Jimmy, those numbers aren't budget. Well, these are definitely budget. I mean, this is as cheap as you can get. Um, sometimes when I say $70 in ears, people are like, that's not budget. It is because anything under like 200 can be considered budget. And that's, that's pretty generous considering how expensive in ears can get. All right, no more delay. Let's open these up. Let you see a little unboxing. I'm going to try them out and give you my immediate feedback. And then I'll probably compare them to the ones I use every single week. And I'll let you know what those are in a moment. And I'll let you know if I actually recommend these or not. So here we go. Let's unbox the EW300s. I will say there's a video on my channel where I put to head five different in-ears at one time and two of them were uh, the EW100s and 200s. And then it went up to the EA500s. Now I'm not an expert on all their different model numbers, but this one falls right in between the AW200 and the AE500 as far as price, not necessarily quality. <laughs> what you get in the box this one has a nice hard case I love these cases the Sigma Sigma cases are really nice because they're they're sturdy and I don't feel like even putting them in my backpack that they'll get crushed and there's plenty of space as compared to my daily drivers my Kiwi ears orchestra lights um, I love it but I love this case more because it's a little bit thicker every time I put my ears in here I feel like I'm like you can almost see that it's a little lopsided because it feel like it's squishing the ears just a little bit and always makes you feel a little uncomfortable. On the KZ Dawn, you get two extra set of earbuds depending on your ear hole size. And that's basically it. On this side, you get a bunch of things, some stuff I never even use, but you get these extra ports that you can put in right here for different EQ options. They even have these little gaskets that let through different amounts of sound for different frequencies. They're color coordinated. There's some pink or purple and red ones. And uh, yeah, I never get that tedious. I just wanna stick them in and hear how they sound. So I'll put these together and then I'll hear how they, I'll see how they fit and then I'll hear how they sound and give you my thoughts. 
just like normal. KZ never has the little slidey thing, so I would not expect that on a $10, $11 pair of in-ears, but I do want them on the more expensive KZs, that's for sure, because they just flop around, you know? Got a pretty good seal. This keeps happening. Need the little cinchy thing. The EW300s does have this little cinchy thing, and I really like the cable because it's not sticky at all. Sometimes it can be too loose, but usually when it has tension, it's not that bad. These are metal, no, like solid metal. If you've watched some of my other videos, I don't tend to like the metal ones because they're heavy, but these aren't that heavy. And it's a really good seal. I can barely hear myself talking. All right, I'm gonna listen to the uh, the KZ Dawn first. Hear how they sound. All right, I don't know what I was expecting. I think I expected it to sound way worse than that. Uh, this is the first I've heard listen to anything this morning. You know how sometimes when you get used to a sound, then something else will sound different. But putting this in, having heard nothing yet this morning, that sounded, I heard every bit of that cheering and clapping and bass and all that stuff. So now let's hear what this sounds like. Yeah, these sound, sound really good too. Uh, I was able to turn the other ones up louder. Now I'm gonna put these back in here, the difference. I feel like these probably had more highs. Man. Jeez. I, no joke, I am, I, I'm very impressed with that. I gotta put my, uh, my normal, my orchestra lights just cause those sound good. When you got a seal all the way in, that kick is coming through, it's not too boomy. It's not as high as uh, it's not as high, heavy, high frequency, heavy like I thought it was. I have two different buds on these, and I've noticed my ears have been sounding a little different, but I think just that difference right there, you see how wide that, compared to that one, it's letting a lot of sound in. I need new buds. I want to mention one more thing while I'm wasting your time putting these new buds on. These Kiwis sound really amazing, but they're, they're like $250. They go on sale for $199 every now and then, but one thing is that this junction right there which is snapping in pretty tight one time it was just like coming loose a little bit and i noticed that the ew 300 they snapped in really well okay let me do it let me do a test you, my my yeah but these those are no joke they uh i can feel like i i hear the beater on the kick drum just the clarity the punch it's a good mix. Okay, I, I can just say it right now. Uh, go get you a pair of these $10 ones, if nothing else, to have a backup if your main ones go down. These are better than I remember the DQSs being. I mean, I'm, I'm very impressed with these. That's just honest. They're not paying me to, did I say this? They're not paying me to say any of this. I expected these to be junk for $11. They are not. That sounds, I mean, that sounds good. Sounds good. So there you go. There's three different sets. I like them all. I would use them all on a Sunday. I have been loving these. Um, they weren't even for this video. I've got other videos on this, but these are the Kiwi Ears Orchestra Lights. $249 for these. When they go on sale, they're $199. These right here, really good. I noticed that they were a little smaller in my ear compared to the the Dons. And so I could feel that. I would want bigger buds, but really good. If you have small ears, which a lot of people do, I'm, I'm a big guy. Uh, if you got small ears, this is this is nice and they sound really good. You get a really nice case for the $60 or $70, whatever it is when you're watching this. Uh, this is a really good deal. And wow, the star of the show for the price Dang, these Dawns, I think the technology, I wonder why they keep coming out with new ones all the time. Maybe it's just marketing, but you know, you get what you get. You get this little um, cheap cable. You don't get the cinch thing. You don't get a case. You don't get any of that, but just sound quality. I would get these for $11. It's amazing. That's amazing. 
If you have any more questions, let me know down in the comments. Also, go check out my other in-ear videos. There's probably a playlist that I'll link somewhere uh, so that you can make a wise decision when you're purchasing stuff. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.